This video, let's talk about pathogen control and cleaning. And I've got some notes here. Uh, so if I look over here and back to the video, it's because I'm looking at my notes to make sure that I cover everything. Uh, this is the area that when it comes to raw dog food that people fear the most. Um, but they don't need to. Um, from our perspective, and after having done this for a long time, um, if you just practice your basic cleaning uh, regimen that you would normally do now when you prepare meat uh, that you would consume yourself, um, you'll probably be fine. Um, we'll add a few extra layers of cleaning in there that are very easy to do um, that has worked really well for us. So let's go ahead and go through those right now. Um, first of all, um, as we discussed in the meat quality section, um, if you get grass-fed meats um, and organic chicken, those types of meats are much less likely to have pathogens in them. Um, so that's really just another uh, reason why you should really try and stick with high-quality meats, even though there's, there's a greater cost with that. Um, you will certainly have fewer issues with pathogens with good quality meats. Um, all fish must be cooked, so if you include fish, make sure that it's cooked. Do not feed raw fish to your dogs. Um, okay, when you're actually preparing meat um, in the assembly of meats, and then we'll go through this in much more detail uh, in later videos, um, you want to make sure that you remove all non-essential items in your kitchen. So. Look at your counter, um, remove anything in there that you don't need because as you prepare and assemble meat, if you're grinding meats, um, you're grinding fruits and vegetables, you're going to likely have splatter um, here and there. So it's best that you remove all non-essential items because it just becomes a lot easier to clean at that point. Um, in terms of cleaning agents, um, nothing special. We use biodegradable soap that we just buy in our grocery store. Uh, and we use vinegar, so we will show you how we use vinegar, but that vinegar is just a fantastic cleaning agent. We'll show you a few added steps that we use with vinegar because vinegar really kills pathogens uh, and it's very safe um, and it's something that we use considerably for all of our cleaning. Okay, um, when you're actually assembling um, all of your ingredients in terms of the cleaning itself, so you have assemble ingredients um, for any kind of utensils, what we do is, um, first is we would remove any food particles from utensils, then we clean it in hot soap and water, and then rinse it off, and then it gets set aside to dry. Nothing more you need to do there. For counters, uh, we would use paper towels to remove any kind of meat scraps or any kind of you know large meat drippings, uh, and then you discard those, and then we'd come back in with uh, soap and water using a dish rag, and we would clean counters off. Uh, and then the final step is uh, we would then use vinegar in a spray bottle, and that's one of the, the pieces of equipment that we showed you we had. Uh, and we would spray the counter down and then come back through with paper towels and actually finish wiping it down. We found that using this extra step with vinegar and paper towels just kind of ensures that um, you've got any final pathogens that may be present on the surface. And it's just a real good cleaning technique that's worked really well for us. Uh, when you're done with that, um, when you've got your scouring pads or your dish rags, um, what we do is first we make sure there's no food particles in them, so we remove those by rinsing them underwater. Uh, and then what we do is we just put them in a container with vinegar and soak them for a bit, you know, five, ten minutes. But I mean, typically, like once we're done, we drop them in there and they may be there a few hours before we use them again. Again, the vinegar. It's designed really sort of to help kill final pathogens. It's just a really good agent to, to, to use for doing that. Um, finally, so um, once you've done counters, utensils, everything's done, then what we do is we make sure that we do a final spray down of our uh, cabinets um, as well as the floor where we prepare food and then use paper towels to wipe all that down. Again, you're getting any final splatters that you may have missed. Um, you're really cleaning the entire space that you've been working in. And then once that's all done, um, typically, you know, whatever clothing that we're wearing, we'll take that off and put that in the wash because likely you might have gotten some splatter on that. And then we always recommend that you use, you know, some sort of shoe that you can clean. So 
typically like in the summer I'm wearing flip-flops a lot, so I'll take those off and clean those in soap and water. Um, or in the winter I might be wearing clogs. Um, same thing, I take those off and clean those in soap and water. Um, when you're actually feeding your dog, so you've done all the assembly of the ingredients, the, you've put them in containers, they're, they're now put away to be frozen. Um, when you're actually feeding your dogs in their daily meals, what we do is we would um, you know, parcel out the food in their uh, um, feed bowls, and we use stainless steel feed bowls. Um, once they're done, we clean those with soap and water and a scouring pad, um, set the, rinse them off, set them aside to dry, uh, and then we will remove any foods off of the scouring pad uh, and then throw it in vinegar and let it soak. Um, if we used any specific soap um, to wash the food bowls or the utensils that we use, then we would discard that soap. Um, and we, if there's any been any kind of splatter or meat drippings or meat that's fallen either on the floor or you know where you fed them or on the counter, we would do a final spray down with our vinegar and our bottle, uh, and then clean that up with paper towels. Um, so that that really, in a nutshell, is our regimen for cleaning. So um, it's very simple. Uh, you just make sure you remove all non-essentials, um, know where things are at, you minimize your splatter. Um, and then you thoroughly clean things, you rinse them off uh, with hot water and soap. Uh, then you come back through, uh, you do spray downs with vinegar, wipe them down with paper towels, and then you're soaking all of your scouring pads or um, your dish rags in vinegar once you remove all the food particles. And that process has worked very well for us.